You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a 2023 animated comic book adaptation directed by Dos Santos, Powers, and Thompson, starring the vocal talents of Shameik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Daniel Kaluuya, Jake Johnson, Brian Tyree Henry, and Oscar Isaac. After reuniting with Gwen Stacy, Miles Morales is catapulted across the multiverse full of spider people, where he meets an elite team tasked with defending his very existence. When the spider people clash on how to handle this multiversal threat, Miles must soon redefine what it means to be a hero so he can save those he loves most. So yes, I had to get both of the AMC popcorn vessels this time around because how could I choose? Come on now. And the hype was already over 10. I was so excited to see Across the Spider-Verse because like pretty much everyone else, I absolutely adore Into the Spider-Verse. One of the best superhero origins ever put to the big screen. An amazing animated film. Oh, so good. And the trailers for this looked just as fantastic. And I have to say, it is fantastic. Right up there with that original Spider-Verse film. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. I want to begin my positives for Across the Spider-Verse with the messaging with the core heart of this film. There is such a huge focus on family, which of course is a focus to the Spider-Man character. They touch on that fact here in this film as well. But our idea of family and love and connection, Miles and his connection with his mother and father and that internal conflict is handled so well in this film. Of course, those type of ideas are introduced and first explored in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but they are delved into so much more in this sequel. And they're handled perfectly. Shameik Moore is once again fantastic as Miles Morales, and dare I say, possibly even better than he was in that first film. Haley Steinfeld as Gwen Stacy is given so much more in this film, and she delivers. And I have to just say it, Gwen Stacy is fantastic. I love that we got to spend more time with her, learn her backstory, and get that interwoven connection between her and Miles. Oscar Isaac, oh! Amazing. Uh, of course, his voice talent is fantastic, but I also really enjoyed his character. Miguel O'Hara was really kind of touted as a straight up villain in the trailers for me. But when you watch the film, it's so much more complicated than that. It's so much deeper. And that's the kind of villain I just sink my teeth into. Of course, the animation is stunning. This animation style is not getting old. It is still blowing my mind each time I see it. And the blend of different styles, the mixture of mediums. Oh, it's done so well in this film. The original score is fantastic here. And honestly, I think more memorable than the score in the first film. But it's once again accompanied by an amazing soundtrack. Oh, the music just hits. The multiverse is so much fun. The action is amazing. And it's all grounded in emotional weight that makes everything have stakes, everything have feeling. It makes every action within the film have purpose. The script is handled beautifully. Oh, the film is amazing. The series understands the central focus and the character of Miles Morales. They know how to write him. They know how to bring him to life and serve as this wonderful motivation to audience members, a really relatable character. And I have to say, if you are queer, this is the type of superhero story that feels really <laughs> relatable. 
Uh, yeah, there's several moments I kind of got a little bit emotional watching this film because it translated so beautifully and felt so close to home. <laughs> so then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to Across the Spider-Verse? So I know I praised the animation and I went on and on about the animation in my positives, but I don't know if I love it more than the animation of the first film. And one big thing for me is this really abstract, broken down backgrounds that we got several times throughout the film. Now they have emotional meaning and significance to them, but uh, I don't know, they just kind of looked cheap in honesty. And there were some moments where we went into that really bare bones style of animation that it read a little bit more cheap than it did artistically stylized. And I never felt that in the first Spider-Verse film. And my only other negative, per se, is that we do leave off on a cliffhanger, which I don't really have a problem with at all. But this film does feel just a tad long for a part one. I do think there's a moment here, a moment there, where we could have shaved off just a tad. There are just one or two stretches in the film that feel a bit slow, maybe go a bit long. So we could have just trimmed this by maybe five minutes. And I think it could have been the perfect length with perfect pacing. But as it is, I loved Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse more than a worthy sequel to one of the best animated films we've gotten over the past decade. So overall, if you enjoyed Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I think you're going to love Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. If you like the character of Spider-Man, if you like superhero and comic book films, if you like animation, make sure to head out and see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse this weekend. I know you will not be disappointed. Honestly, this is going to be tough to beat as one of the best films of the year. So that is my review for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you hyped for Across the Spider-Verse? Have you already checked it out? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and. We'll see you next time. Bye.